Hello planet, welcome to SRD Planet where we talk about sustainability, resources and diversity. And in this episode we came out to the very middle of the Swiss Wild West where uh, we are going to visit the um, Bison Reintroduction Project. I hope you're excited as I am. The project location is in the French speaking part of Switzerland, in the western part, in a very small village called Sushi, where, uh, contrary to its name, there is no Japanese restaurant at all. And um, as you can see, the, uh, the, the location is a densely forested area here, surrounded by a robust electric fence, intermitted by some gates which uh, allow the maintenance guys of the project to enter the area to do their work and there's also a small um, stretch of uh, opening a clearing in the forest where you can take a glimpse into the area and um, uh, watch the animals as they pass these clearings so clearly not a display facility it isn't a zoo this isn't designed for people to easily come here you see there is no road nothing you have to you have to be on foot basically to even come close to the fence and on the gate you have some signs like pictures of the animals uh, some signs that that's an electric fence don't touch looks like jurassic park right but yeah i don't know whether i'll see any animals I'm curious I'm gonna look around a little bit I have seen one or two people walking here with binoculars so it isn't that no one comes here but really this isn't a frequented location it isn't meant to be either um, this is a rewilding area so the animals are supposed to be undisturbed by humans and just live their lives peacefully in there I'm curious, so I'm gonna walk around a little bit. I have found them. They're here. Not far from this gate. Try to zoom in. More and more coming. Look, they're all coming. One, two, three, four, five. This big one looks the bull. They don't seem to care I'm here and they are downwind from me so they, they are aware that I'm here very well aware they don't care is that good or bad? good question there's one moving in the woods I can see it now so the whole herd is here all six animals oh the young one is so cute look at that one two three four five six yeah Seven. Actually, there's a young then from this year as well. I wasn't aware. But you see this this young one that, that just walked out on the road. I think that one's from last year. And there's an even smaller one. Still, you see the young cow. Yeah, I think that one's from this year. So that's them four, five. Six and seven in the woods there. It's moving in there. Yeah, it's about to come out as well. So the whole herd is right in front of me, right here. <laughs> That's amazing. Gosh, this pool is big. Whoa, it's taller than I am. Okay, I'm not a tall guy, but still. And now they're all here, look at the baby. Yeah, 
I'm, I'm sure that's one this year. Yeah. It's just a couple of meters away from me. <laughs> family portrait, complete family. Hi, mommy. She's so close, I could almost touch her. Omar. I don't feel threatened at all. can hear their breathing and feel their flies biting me as well. Yeah, clear that one. That's another young one. There at the back. That's from last year. That's Sultan. His name is Sultan. Born last year. And this other one, I don't know the name of this one. This is from this year. It's really young. Hi, mommy. It's right here next to the fence. What an experience. Hi there. Step back a little bit. I don't want them to be too close to me. I don't want them to get used to that. Do you see all these signs? They're trying to protect us from them and them from us. You see the European bison or Vizent is a forest dwelling species. They're living in the forest here and we eating the underbrush. Yeah. I really do wish that this project will be successful and these animals will be released in the wild. At the moment they are really just fenced in. In the next couple of years, um, there are initiatives that these animals should be released in the wild. isn't only grazing you see they're also browsing it's clear you see they're eating the branches of the trees and they're also eating the bark of the trees so they're shaping the forest landscape quite significantly they can also uproot smaller trees to make space for themselves so the forest will not never get too dense when they're around Scratchy, scratchy, scratch. So, thank you for watching this video to the end. Um, I hope you liked my rewilding experience. Check out my links below to the um, project website and tune in in the future.
future for similar content. Thank you.